How's it going guys? We're going to go ahead and review Avira free antivirus. Now this is what the program looks like here, but first let's go ahead and see what PC Magazine had to say about this program. I really trust them with their reviews and that's how we um, review antivirus programs here on Luis Tutorial TV. So here it is. Now it looks like they only gave uh, two and a half stars out of five to uh, Avira Antivirus 2015 editor rating fair and let's see why let's go ahead and take a look at the pros and cons here the pros is a uh, good results in most independent lab tests good score and hands-on malicious URL test so they did test Avira and it did get good results for a free antivirus program that's pretty good includes active do not track feature. That, those are the pros. All right, the cons it's mediocre score and hands on malware blocking test. So, in hands on test, it was a mediocre. Poor detection of phishing websites. That's not good. That means they can steal your, um, like, let's say Facebook, they can trick you into giving your, your uh, login info on a fake website, and uh, Avira won't be able to detect that. Limited tech support. That's not good. And browser protection is not compatible with Internet Explorer. So if you're using Internet Explorer, I don't recommend you get Avira free antivirus. All right, guys. The bottom line is that Avira antivirus 2015 is free, but it's not a bargain, especially if you wind up paying an expert for tech support. You can do better than that. So that's what PC Magazine had to say about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it for ourselves. Now, here is the download page for the free antivirus 2015. I will post a link on the description of the video for this uh, web page here on avira.com so you can download the, the free version if you want. But let's go ahead and take a look at the actual program. I do have a scan running right now, a quick, actually they don't let you choose either a full or quick scan and I will show you that here in a bit. So this is what it, this is what it looks like here. For a beginner this might be too much to take in, I'll tell you that. But uh, on the left hand side is, are the menu options for everything on this program. But it starts off on the status uh, page here. They don't call it a home page, they call it status page. And here, real time protection, we can tell it's on. If you want to scan, you, if you want to scan the system, you uh, click right here where it says scan system. If you want to start an update, you click here where it says start update. Alright guys, now web protection, as you notice, these these features here, web protection, mail protection, and game mode are not included on the free version. You have to click on the upgrade. Now, green button here, so you can get those options, but of course you have to pay for the, you gotta get the paid version to get those options here, guys. Now, really funny, when you do, do when you do scan the system, it doesn't, like every other antivirus program, it doesn't ask you for a quick, full, or custom scan. It just starts scanning right off the bat. And I don't know if it's doing a quick scan, full scan, what kind of scan it's doing, but here it is doing the scan right now. And to tell you the truth, I have no idea what type of scan it is or what it's looking for. It should, this program should give you the option for a quick, full, or a custom scan. I mean, what's going on here, guys? I don't know. I don't know, Aviro. I don't know what you're doing there, but... Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the um, the menu here. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the system scanner here. And here here you can do a custom scan actually. Here you can choose whatever you want to scan, local drives, local hard drives, removable, my documents, you can do it all. Looks like the scan is done and um, didn't find anything. This computer is pretty much clean. All right. So you can do a custom scan by using the the system scanner here. So that's good at least uh, Real-time protection, when you click on that, uh, it'll tell you what, uh, right now I have Google open, that's why it's searching Google. If you notice right here, it says Google Chrome user, that's because I'm using Google right now. So I, it does have real-time protection. For a free antivirus program, that's awesome. Not a lot of free antivirus programs have that feature, so that's good. Let's take a look at the firewall here. Windows firewall is using the optimal settings, so Avira doesn't have its own firewall. It is it's just lets you know if the Windows firewall goes off it'll let you know social networks it, Avira does provide a free social shield but we won't get that till later I'll probably make a tutorial or review on that later alright guys 
Android security. Now you can get a Vera antivirus for Android and I will make a review video for uh, Android phones pretty soon for all. I'm going to be testing all antivirus programs on, on uh, Android phones pretty soon so keep a lookout for those videos. I will upload those videos. Quarantine. So you can take a look at what's been quarantined. If it does, we right now there's nothing on the list because I haven't found anything. But this is where you can go ahead and take a look at your quarantine items. Scheduler. Here you can go ahead and schedule scans. Just click on the Hold on one second, guys. Click on the click on this plus sign here, and you can go ahead and schedule a scan. You name it first. Click next. Avira, come on, next, next. You choose what you want it to be: an update or a scan job. Click next. Available profiles. Just select local drives. That'll do all your computer. And once you schedule this job, you can select daily, weekly, monthly, interval, single, whatever you want to do. And display mode, you can select minimize or maximize or whatever you want. If you want it to pop up and see it, you can do that. And just click finish. And there it is right there. And it started right away because I said immediately. I'm going to go ahead and stop it though. But you can choose daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you want. You can take a look at reports here. If you notice, um, showing reports of the scans I made and the update that I did and you can click on events so you can see what you what's been done on the program before what events have been happening so that's pretty much it guys like I said I will post a link on the description of the video for this page here so you can download it just click on the green download button here so you can download the free antivirus that we just reviewed and that's about it guys don't forget to subscribe like the video and stay tuned for more software reviews coming up